Oh my god, there's dots. Okay, so let's do a how-to today, guys. So uh, what we got to do is um, my son uh, has been saving his money for quite some time. And uh, because I uh, refused to just buy him TVs and, you know, stuff like that. So he saved his money for uh, quite some time and uh, decided that he was going to buy himself a TV, which is, you know, perfectly awesome. So what we got is we got to mount this TV on the wall. He's got a wall mount, the TV itself. So here's the TV. It's an RCA 32 inch. It's a. It actually is a 1080p uh, LED TV. Uh, we'll get into that once we get to mount it. And uh, we got this mount kit. Um, this right here. Uh, it's probably upside down. Oh, there we go. Okay, TV wall mount. Okay, so that uh. We get to mess with that here and uh, do like a how-to. So I've already got the kit already out the box. So this what comes in the box. Um, this stuff here. Got all the mounts. The, this actually mounts to the TV and into this part. This part here actually mounts to the wall. So this will go up here on the wall, mounted into the studs. Um, I was sitting here looking at the directions, trying to figure out exactly what to do with this. But now I already, have, I already knew what was going on. Just making for sure. So it comes with six of these lag bolts, and that's what I'm going to use to put this in. Um, if you had concrete, you use these. Um, you drill your hole in the concrete, and then you put this in there, and then you use bolts to actually put it into there. So, or maybe it's the lag bolts, I don't know. But uh, you use these spacers in between this and the actual bracket, so that way it sticks out from the wall a little bit for using concrete. On um, It's showing on here for the wood. It's not showing the, uh, the little spacers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm using those or not, I haven't decided, but it would stick it out from the wall a little bit, so I, I think I'm not going to do that, so, but, uh, yeah, so, um, let me go out and get a couple tools and a drill and stuff, because I'm going to pre-drill these holes a little bit, um, yeah, I'm going to pre-drill these holes a little bit, so that way it makes it a little easier for me to, uh, thread them into the wall, and, uh, how to get my stud finder, I think I know where the studs are in here, but I'd like to be a little, uh, a little more for sure, so, um, we'll be back okay guys so I did a little mock up here I want to see exactly how this uh, bracket assembly goes together because there is a left and a right for this so that way you can tighten up the one screw so when you look at this it's got um, you're gonna look here and you're gonna see the Phillips head screws on this side okay so I'm trying to look at this through the camera lens as I'm going so this one here is a tiltable so it, tilts, it just tilts in and out that's all it does at the top um, this one here is actually the one that controls, or this one's the one that controls the amount of tilt. So once you get it to where you want, you tighten up this screw. So you just tighten this up to where you want it, and then you just leave it alone. So what I got to do now is uh, find the studs across here. Um, if you have an outlet like this, you can go measure across and um, kind of tell where they're at. This house is set up all screwy. So like right here, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. There's a place in the wall because there's a nail. These, this house has nails in it. You might see it now because it's a little shiny now. But um, there's a nail right there because there's the stud. So, and then you measure across from here to there and then measure your studs out. Um, I can't find my stud finder. So, um, I can't find my stud finder, um, which is optimal for this thing here. Um, another way you can do it is um, <clears throat> get your mount close to where you want it get you a couple screws and um, just go about every half inch or so and put a screw and see if it actually bites into the wood and if it does then uh, that's where you'll want to go with your uh, with your bolt or your lag bolt okay so I don't like using the ones that usually comes in the kits because these ones have a shoulder on them if you look here it has a little more of a shoulder um, that's what I'm using and uh, they're just a tad bit shorter uh, shorter but it's only holding up a 32 inch TV so uh, so hopefully it'll be okay so let's get this thing uh, set up here and kind of show you what else is going on so here's the TV that we're mounting it to so what you got to do is mount the brackets on the back of this and then measure where your everything's going to go and then get your bracket where you want it at okay because if you put it too low then you're going to be into stuff like this so I've seen people where they'll mount them over top of their mantles and things like that this one's going to be quite high on the wall because his bed's right here. So, 
So I got to mount it, you know, up high enough off the wall here, so that way it's up off of this. And then he's got a uh, Blu-ray player uh, surround sound system that's going to go underneath of it too. So we got to get that out of the box and uh, check it out and see how big it is, because I think it's only a couple inches, so it won't be too bad. Okay, so here's the unit, guys. It's an RCA Blu-ray player uh, stereo system all in one. It's a whole unit all together. So being that this is only this tall, the way the mount is, um, I want the TV to be close to it but not real far away because I want to be able to slide this back and have all the wires being hidden so I gotta figure out how far away that I need to make it oh, okay so this is slightly irritating for me so as you see here I'll move this one over so you got your two holes in the back of the plastic here okay so on this side it's lined up right so if you look in here there's one there and there's one there well the problem with this is it sticks like two inches above the actual unit so it is just a generic mount. Um, I thought about taking and re-drilling one of these holes out, which wouldn't be too bad. I could take and drill this out and let it hang on the bottom. I'd rather have the hanging on the bottom than the top, because um, right about there is about where it should be. So I think I'm going to drill this out and uh, make it so that way it fits. It's not exactly uh, a user-friendly install when I do that because modifying something to make it work isn't exactly the way it should be. So, look, mm. whose TV? Mine. Are you sure? Yes. I was gonna put it in the living room. No. Why not? Mine. Huh? Mine. My TV. No. Okay. So uh, what we had to do is um, you guys see here I elongated the holes here. So now with that hole there. This one matches up, and uh, hold on here, one more up here. Okay, so that one matches up, and that one matches up now. So to use the little little bitty ones that they got, it's too short, or they're too long to go in there, and the other ones are too long. So these ones are like real, real long. So what I got to do is use this little rubber dealy, and put it inside in here with this one, which is a whole lot longer, and a washer. And it'll squish it all down in there and keep her nice and tight. So, uh, so she's going. Okay, so that's a the piece that comes with the mount. That one comes with the mount. That's an extra set of washers. And then there's that black piece in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's a black piece in there, like a spacer. It's made for something else, but um, it's it's I'm using it for this. So everything's all down on there, and they're solid, solid. So now time to put this part up there, part all mounted up. Working on the wall mount. So, like I was telling you, he has the uh, this has the um, shoot nails in the wall, so you're going to see little places. So there's one here, and then there's one right here. So I just lined it up, drilled in here, and there's a two before right there. So I actually pre-drilled it, and I'm using these uh, lag bolts and uh, just uh, putting it in there. All right. Two bolted down, two holes drilled, two more to go. Last ones. It's on the wall now. So, if you get a hold of this thing, it's kind of hard to be up close to it because she's so big. But um, if you need to tilt her, she tilts up pretty good. So, yeah, it's just mounted in the back on the wall. So, now we're going to hook this thing up. Uh, okay, guys, so here's the rest of it. She's all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, local radio station, but uh, we still got to uh, actually mount the speaker, so that's the next kind of thing. But um, we've got the wires run behind everything, it's got two speakers over there, so that's got the wires right there. Got one more uh, wire that we got to extend, so we can put it over here on this side. But uh, overall, um, she's put in, so yeah, he's all embarrassed and excited and all kinds of stuff here, so um, yeah. So thanks for watching guys, hit the thumbs up for me, you know, this is all for my son, um, and it's like $400 worth of stuff, so, where'd he go, oh, there he is, mm. look at him, the little nut, mm. <laughs> okay guys, so until next time guys, thanks for watching.